Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today in this video, I'm going to explain how you can create groups using Google Workspace. So if you have your admin access into your Google Workspace, if you go here and under directory, you can create groups, okay? So groups is for a your business organization, you wanna create groups so that you can send emails out to different members in the same group, that it will be a good way. So that it will help you to instead to put like an email to each of these members, right? So having a group, you can send one email and then they will be sent to all the members. So let me explain here how you do that. You create here a group, right? Imagine, let's gonna put an example, right? Social media. So if you have a department in social media where it belongs to or is like five or six or 10 people working there. So you just send an email to the social media account, right? that it will be sending to each of these members that belongs to that group, okay? So here, after that, you put the group, group email and then now say group description. So group description, you can put here the description of that uh, social media group, okay? And then who is the owner? You can put yourself or you can put whoever needs to be the owner. So you just need to assign it here. It can be one or can be multiple owners. You just need to assign them in this uh, side in here. Labels, if you wanna add any security to easily identify and manage groups that you apply policies to, you can just mark here and that's it. If not, next. And then it will be the section to access type. Who wants to, uh, how is the access type? In here say, public anyone in your organization can post to and join to the group team anyone in your organization can post to the group but they must ask to join or anyone only say uh, announcement only on only groups owners and manage managers can post to the group and anyone in your organization can join okay restricted only groups owners managers and members can post to the group and people in your organization must ask to join it depends how you want to do it. You can also do the custom and custom is when you change a settings for another access type, it becomes a custom, right? So depends what do your requirement, you can put it there and then test it out if you want, but it will be the way that you want to do it, okay? And next say here, see who can join to the group. Anyone in the organization can ask to join the group. Anyone in the organization can join or only invited users. So if you're the owner or any of the owners, the only way that to access that group, it will be only invited. They only will be able to invite those people. So if you wanna use this option, it will be here. If not, anyone in the organization can ask or can join, it will be this or this option, okay? And here, this is important, allow members outside of your organization, okay? Let me go here and then explain what it is. Here in the allow members outside of organization, if uh, someone is not with your domain name or under your organization, right? That means that it's not with the same domain, they wouldn't be able to access that group, okay? So only if you mark that option, right, they will be able to be in that group or be part of that group as a member, okay? So you just make that if you want uh, outside of your organization be able to add uh, members, okay? Once that, creating a group, that's it. So as you can see, that is ready. I just need to add members on that social media. So you just go here and start adding members, right? As you can see here right now, um, you will see, let me see, if you want to add members, you just need to go here and add members. You just, just start typing the name of the person that you want them to add, okay? So for instance, here, add that to the group. That's it, as simple as that. I can't be a member because I'm the owner, so I already be a owner, so you can't be a member as well. I mean, you are part of the, already there, which is here, okay? If you want to change something, it will be under the directory. You go to groups and always allowed to go here and add members, mem manage members, and edit settings and more options if you want to delete it, all right? So please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.